Hey all, DJ Legion back with you. Um, I know it's been a minute. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> Complicated business. Um, how we doing? Gonna do a video here showing you some stuff that's come in in the last month or so. I think it's been at least a month since I've done a video. Um, gonna show you some books, gonna show you some vinyl, gonna show you some CDs, uh, give you some updates on what's been going on. Um, However, before I get to that, I want to uh, thank my subscribers. I've had between 497 and 502 subscribers off and on. goes back and forth. But I've held over 500 subscribers now for a couple of weeks. So uh, I think we're at 501 right now. Uh, so I want to thank all 501 of my subscribers, especially the new people. Uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, just very grateful and appreciative of your time and your attention because I know that's valuable and all the people who uh, support this channel and leave comments and uh, hit the thumbs up button uh, and all of that uh, 500 subscribers so um, you know I'm not gonna do a contest because I'm still trying to close out the 400 subs contest uh, so we're not gonna do a contest uh, for 500 subs but I will do a Q&A um, if you have a question for me about anything, <laughs> life, the universe, and everything, uh, whatever it is, if you have a question for me, put it in the comments, and I will make a response video for it um, sometime before Black Friday, because I'm going to do a video for Black Friday, Record Story Day, of course, um, and I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, so anyway, yeah, we'll do a Q&A here for 500 subs, um, Ask DJ Legion, <laughs> so just... If you have a question about anything, you can uh, leave it in the comments, and I will get to it. Um, so 500 subscribers, give or take. Uh, I know now that I've mentioned this, that four people will, will unsubscribe, and I'll drop into like, you know, 498 or 497. It always works like that. But as of right now, this moment, I am holding 500 subscribers. Uh, 501, I believe. So... Uh, that's fantastic. Very appreciative of that. A great milestone to hit that. Um, let's show you some music. Um, show you some CDs, first of all, I guess. Some rock and metal on this one here that we're going to show. Um, picked up a copy of Rats out of the cellar on eBay for, I think, $3 used. The great 80s glam rock. Um, I'm sure most of you know about it. Nothing unique about it, really. Uh, picked up two Motorhead CDs. Got these on the cheap. March or Die and 1916. These are still sealed. Unopened. Got these for $3.99 each on Walmart.com. And by the way, they have them. If you would like to get a couple of Motorhead CDs, on the cheap, you, they still have these. $3.99 a piece. Very affordable. I uh, got this from the UK. Shipped all the way from United Kingdom. Iced Earth, I Walk Among You. This is a CD single with three songs on it. Um, yeah. Got this from the UK. And this one also from the United Kingdom. Lordy, Who's Your Daddy, also a CD single. Uh, this has two songs on it. So you don't see, you don't see Iced Earth and Lordy. Um, you don't see these guys, you know, at the Barnes and Noble. That's not going to happen. Um, so had to, um, had to track these down. These are hard to get even in, in, the, in America. Uh, Lordy and Iced Earth are two hard bands to track down. So I got these from the United Kingdom. Um, didn't pay much for them. I think $6 each. And that included shipping, actually. Yes, for some reason, when I get a CD sent from the UK, I can get the CD and the shipping for 6 bucks. But when I want to ship something to the UK, they want $150. Damn dollars. I don't know what the deal is with that. Um... So those are the CDs I picked up. Let's move on. And um, 
think I'll show you some books actually. Um, I have a booktube channel, um, DJ Legion's Bookshelf. I will leave a link in the description so you can check it out. So if you, um, I want to upload probably some of these same books on that channel so you'll see them again. Um, so yeah, I'm doing two channels now, doing a music channel and doing a book channel. But of course, there's a lot of overlap. Um, you know, books, art, music, painting, films, anything that's creative. Um, you know, final people are into music, which is just another form of creative art. So there's a lot of overlap uh, with between books and music and films and comic books and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I picked up some music-related books. Um, I got some for free, actually, and scored one on the cheap. I got this one off of eBay for four dollars. Kiss and Sell. This is written by a guy named Christopher Lent. He was their one of their business partners, business managers from 1976 all the way through until about um, I think 1990. I'm not sure exactly, but he was with them in their organization for a long time, all through their heyday uh, in the late 70s and then all through the 80s as well. Um, and this is really good, a really good look at the band behind the scenes, uh, look at the group. And, you know, all four members of KISS, these original four guys, Paul, Peter, Ace, and Gene, have, of course, written autobiographies, um, but... <sighs> You know, Christopher Lent doesn't have an axe to grind. He doesn't have <laughs> he doesn't have an agenda. All these these the autobiographies that these the original band members wrote were obviously slanted to make them kind of appear as the true star of the band, the driving force behind the band, and they didn't get treated right by the other members. And there was all this you know drug use and egos and drama and all, you know as all relationships have. Um, but Christopher's book does not have any type of extra grind or any agenda behind it. It's just a good, honest look at what was going on in KISS from 76 to uh, the late 1980s, early 90s. So uh, this is an excellent book. Paid $4 to get this. It retailed originally for, does it say, uh, $18.95. So I got a good buy on this. Got a good buy on this one. Um... This is the last book that I have just finished reading, Sting, Broken Music. Fantastic, fantastic. Sting's an excellent songwriter, ex excellent storyteller, so of course it would make sense that he would write a good autobiography, and he, of course he did. Uh, this goes from pretty much his birth until the release of the first Police album, so it doesn't cover his career after he was famous. This is all talking about coming up when he was paying some dues. It goes right up until the first album uh, was released. Um, really, really good. It's really great. Um, enjoyed this quite a bit. Um, I love the fact that when I read autobiographies, especially about musicians um, who were somewhat recent, though he talked in here about appearing on a British TV show called the uh, the Old Grey Whistle Test, which was a music show in the United Kingdom. Um, he talked about an appearance that he did on there and in like 1978. And I mean, I can go on YouTube and I can watch that. I can watch that right then. I can just stop reading the book and, you know, watch the appearance that he's talking about, you know, right then. Um, I love that about autobiographies, you know, people who were, you know, recent since we've had video technology. Um, so, anyway, this was excellent, outstanding, big fan of Sting. I don't agree with his politics per se, but, his, but I don't let that get in the way of um, my appreciation and respect for his talent and his music. Great stuff. Sting, broken music. Um, and this one here I got for free as well. This one was free, by the way. Another one I picked up for free. This is Benny Goodman and the Swing Era. Uh, talking about the popular music of the 1920s and the 1930s. Right when radio was new and um, the music industry was just kind of being formed. So it talks a little bit about that as well. How you know the music industry started to evolve and radio was the new creative. was the new outlet to put music to the people. 
Uh, yeah, I've been a Goodman in the swing era. Haven't read this yet, but um, I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. Big fan of this kind of music, so yeah, I'm going to enjoy this, I'm sure. And this was an interesting thing here. This is called the Album Cover Album. And I got this for free, and it's very beat up, as you can see. In fact, the cover just comes right off. And it's not even a glued to the book anymore. Um, but what it is, is a collection of cover art. And talking about different styles of album artwork. Um, I will show you some other, a lot of different ones here. And like I say, it's, this book's coming apart. Um, but there's a lot of fantastic album art in this thing. I'll try to show you, uh, some more. Uh, there's some Cat Stevens stuff and some Paul McCartney covers here. And everybody's in here. Frank Zappa, Kiss, Alice Cooper, Pink Floyd, The Who. Um, you know, everybody's in this thing. Camo, Pablo Cruz. Um, let's see if I can find... Uh, let's see, I showed you that one already. Yeah, Quicksilver Messenger Service is on this page here. Uh, lots of great artwork in this thing. And album artwork. And so what I think I'm going to do with this... There's Steve Miller there. Um, is do some type of art piece. Because uh, the book is shot. But I could take out the pages and cut these. You know, there's all different sizes of, you know, they've got full pages and then four to a page and, you know, 12 to a page and nine to a page. Um, I'm going to make some type of art piece with this, I think. Not this year, probably, but where I can maybe take some type of poster board and or foam board and make maybe a few pieces of that poster board and foam board and make a huge collage going up the wall behind my uh, behind my stereo equipment. Um, probably can't do that with one piece. I probably need several pieces of foam board to do that with, but I think that would be kind of great to get some use out of this because it's really beat up. But to, you know, take some of the magic and greatness of this book and, um, you know, we use it in another, repurpose it for another use, make a big collage of panels of poster board or foam board and just have those, all these great album covers in different sizes and shapes all kind of just splashed on there going all the way up the wall. Uh, we'll see about that. Uh, probably won't get to that this year, like I said, but next year that would be fantastic. Um, now let's show some vinyl, um, that I've got. Once again, sticking to the rock and metal genres, um, for $8, I got a very clean copy of Cheap Tricks Dream Police on Epic 1979, blue label, uh, super clean. You know, I can show you the interior as well. Super, super clean on the gatefold. Um, great condition. For um, $3.98, I got a super clean copy of Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Um, which, uh, what was, which one was this one? Damn the Torpedoes. That's right. And I got this prior to his death. Um, I doubt I would have gotten one. Look how clean that is. This beautiful for 4 bucks after he passed away. And I'm sure prices went way up. Um, original inner sleeve, of course. And there he is there. Um and this is on um, Backstreet Records, MCA. So yeah, very nice copy of this. No ring wear at all. I got a good copy of Europe out of this world. I think I paid $4 for this. Or $3 maybe? $3 or $4. Um, Europe out of this world. This was this sophomore album. And um, it still has the shrink wrap on it. Got this off of Discogs. Uh, still in the shrink wrap. This was on Epic. And this is a band I don't see much in the VC. And I found two of their albums on Discogs for cheap. And that is Axe. 
I don't think I've seen anybody show acts in the VC at all. I'm though I'm sure LJ and Scott Waters and uh, some other metalheads definitely have these albums. Um, on Adco Records, this is 1982. Offering is the name of the album. Tried this on uh, Discogs for three or four dollars as well. And then I found another one, same seller, Axe Nemesis. This is, I believe, the sequel, 1983. Yeah, the follow up to Offering. Yeah, um, this one, oh, it's not bad. I mean, these aren't mint, uh, but the price was right three or four bucks. I forgot what I paid. This one's got to cut out a notch right there on the bottom. Um, I used to have this one on cassette actually back in the day. Um, so I'm glad to have it again. Also, another one I used to have back in the day, and now I have again, is April Wine, Nature of the Beast from Canada. This is the uh, Capitol Records. I believe it's Capitol, or is it Aquarius? Um, is this the American release on Capitol? Yes, it is the Plum Label Capitol. has the original Inner Sleep. $4 or $3. I forgot what I paid for this lot off of... Um, if it's three dollars a piece or four dollars a piece off of discogs uh this had the big hit just between you and me and sign of the gypsy queen uh, because it had this back in the 80s when it came out when i was um gosh i think i was still in middle school at that point <laughs> um and so you know that slipped away from me as things do and now i have another copy uh so excited about that and uh so that is it but I do want to talk about um, things coming up. Black. Oh wait, that's not it. I have my key piece, the most important one. I was about to not show you. This is an original 1975 Casablanca Records pressing of the first Angel album. Uh, still in the shrink wrap, believe it or not. Although it's been opened, but um, still has the shrink on it. There's the Casablanca logo there. In the original inner sleeve. And it has the Smoking Man label, the blue label, the Casablanca label. Um, this was, I paid $14 to get this, and that's actually competitive. Um, this album usually sells for 20 and up. Um, so, and, and frankly, to find it with the original shrink wrap still on it, so the jacket's in fantastic, the shrink wrap, by the way, is all, you know, it's all brittle, I'm going to take it off, but I just wanted to leave it on to show it to you, that I found it like this, uh, paid 14 bucks for this, um, a great classic rock album, because you don't, you don't hear about Angel, and you don't hear about Axe, um, bands like Stars. You just don't hear about those bands anymore, and that's a shame, because this is some great, great rock, 70s AOR rock that came out, um, and this great album here. And I'm going to get there some of their other stuff as well. They have a few more albums that came out um, on Casablanca that I want to get. So I was really excited to get this one in this type of condition. It's fantastic. Okay, uh, let's talk about what's coming up. Black Friday, Record Story Day. Um, that'll probably be the next video that I make, um, at least for my final channel. Um, I've seen the list. If you, I don't know if the list is out yet. I don't even know if the list is officially released, but I have seen the list of what is coming out. There's, I think, three items that I've got, you know, that I want to get. I can't tell you what's on the list because, you know, the condition of me seeing the list was that I would not tell people what's on it. Um, but you know, it's a typical record store day list. Um, you know, there's a few things that are great. There's a bunch of stuff that's kind of cool, but not cool enough for me to get my wallet out. Um, and then there's a bunch of other stuff that I have no idea what the hell it is and different, you know, genres and eras of music that I don't care about, but somebody will. Um, so there's no Iron Maiden. I can tell you that there's no Iron Maiden on the record store day black friday list this year um usually they they have stuff but not this year um although there's a new iron maiden coming out a new live album coming out 
Um, so yeah, Record Store Day Black Friday. There's three uh, three pieces I want to get. I, I I think I'm gonna be able to get all three of those without too much difficulty. Um, and Christmas is coming up. These are the Christmas cards the BC members that I send them to will be receiving. Madonna and Child. There we go. Um, I have two boxes of these. So I have 40 of these cards. Um, that should cover all of my friends, family, and vinyl community people that I, I send things to. Um, so those will be going out as well before I go on vacation. I'm leaving on vacation on the, the 13th of December. Um... So, right before I leave, I'll make sure to send all those out. Um, <clears throat> some of them will have um, download cards like last year. And some people will get CDs, actually, as well. I got um, 18 copies of the Naughty Women EP, which I've sent some of you in the past. Uh, great San Francisco uh, band from the 70s, kind of in the Thin Lizzy, Uriah Heep, Fog Hat kind of vein. Um, they never, uh, Naughty Women never got signed, but they recorded three track, a three track demo. It was really, really good. Um, and, um, that, those tapes sat in somebody's storage unit or attic for decades until a few years back, they finally got digitalized and now they, they've been put on CD, a three track EP. Uh, it's really great stuff. And I got, I've sent a few copies out in the past few years, but I managed to talk to one of the band members and I, he gave me 18 copies of uh, of the demos on CD and I'm going to send some of those out with these uh, next month prior to going on vacation um, Strong Boys 19 yes you're going to get your package still uh, have not forgot about you um, Harmless Rebel Steve yes you're going to get the inserts to the Rufrex uh, promo album uh, the press sheet and the um, press photo have not forgot about you either. Um, that's coming up. Going to get to that before I go on vacation. Uh, so that's it. Sorry I've been away. It's been a great, it's been a busy month. Um, and I just have, I got, um, I got a promotion at work, which was great. Except with the promotion comes more headache. Um, a little more money, but a little more headache. Um, and of course my health issues are always ongoing now. Always watching my weight. Always watching my blood pressure at this point. Um, watching what I'm eating. I'm living in a new, I'm living in a new reality now, um, to, to keep my health, um, on check. Um, so I have to, I have to go in, uh, to the doctors, you know, a few times a year now to, to manage that and to make sure that that is being managed and that any adjustments in diet or indoor medications that are needed are, are done in a timely fashion. So... I haven't had the time to uh, to do YouTube like I want. In fact, I have more stuff, different genres of stuff that I've picked up, but I, I'm just not going to show it right now because this video is running long enough. Yeah, we're running long enough. Anyway, I'm talking up a storm. <laughs> um, that's it, and that's all for this video. Once again, 500 subscribers. Thank you so much. We'll do a Q&A. If you have a question, put it in the comments. Um, and I will get back to that and do a response video shortly. So, until I see you again, you know what to do. Say it with me. Turn up the music. Turn down the drama. And have a great, great day.